Razgovarali smo sa gitaristom Red Hot Chili Peppersa. To record only water for 10 days is what I had to sort of do symbolically to myself, you know. Um, imagining that my body was a tape recorder, I knew three years ago that I was going to have to record only water for 10 days in order to, to be able to make a record because I was, uh, I was very, uh, I had a very uh, chemical makeup about three years ago and I really had to clean myself out before I was going to be able to do a clear representation of the feelings and the places that I wanted to represent with my music. So that's that's you know to I mean it's heavy when you're doing the amount the when you're performing on stage the way we perform because we're pretty wild and we're pretty athletic sort of on stage we we jump around a lot and stuff so our bodies are always really feeling it we re always really need that day off physically but you know I'm always just sitting in the back of the bus playing guitar and sitting in hotel rooms playing guitar and. Uh, when you're practicing playing along with other music so much it's a natural sort of uh, it's a natural sort of byproduct of that that you're going to write songs you know? electronic music for the last three years I would say I've I probably listened to 70 percent electronic music or 80 percent electronic music most of what I listen to is all different types of electronic music you know from all different kinds of techno musics and and uh, um, German electronic music from the 70s and, you know, German, German techno music and, uh, you know, the Depeche Mode and New Order. And for some reason, it's what speaks to me the best lately, you know, since I started playing guitar again. When we were making Californication, I actually had to, when we were first writing, writing it, I had to, make a rule for myself that I would only listen to electronic music at nighttime and during the daytime I would only listen to music played by real instruments because if I listened to electronic music and then I went to rehearsal everything sounded so boring to me you know but uh, by listening to it at nighttime and then and then uh, listening to like punk music during the day I ended up finding ways of working those kind of textures into the music without actually directly uh, being influenced by anything electronic, I, I think uh, we were always trying to, we were kind of texturally trying to keep up with like, at that time with like the trip hop music that you know we were listening to like Portishead and Tricky and stuff. And I feel that, that a, a musician to, to keep getting better has to keep changing. And if you're constantly always referring to the same things, to me it just grows stale, you know? When I see people like, you know somebody who thinks like maybe when they started out they just thought cream was the greatest thing in the world and then they keep playing but they just keep being only influenced by cream and they keep thinking that that was the end of the world or somebody thinks that you know in earlier you have somebody who might think that like you know uh, Jerry Lee Lewis was the greatest thing in the world then that person I see them as being people that were good for a while and then they at a certain point they cease to grow and I don't want to be like that I'd rather die you know I, I want to keep changing and I want to keep being different and to do that I have to listen to I have to be open to as many different kinds of music as I can get my hands on you know T-Rex and David Bowie they'll always be at the soul and the heart of what I do but you know but to to uh to find new ways of being able to express those feelings I feel is the job of a of a musician you know who's going into the new millennium you know